The Red Shoes. In a small village lived a beautiful girl named Karen. She lived with her mother in a small hut. Karen was a poor girl. She had no shoes to wear. She always wore wooden shoes that her mother had made for her. The shoes were hard, and Karen's feet hurt. Soon, Karen's mother got very ill. Karen spent all her time taking care of her mother. Once, while coming back home, Karen found a pair of red shoes in a box. The box was on the sidewalk. Karen loved the red shoes and decided to take them home. But her mother was not happy to see the red shoes. <coughs> Karen, you must never pick up anything off the road. They may belong to someone. This is stealing. Somebody must be looking for their red pair of shoes. Then they should have been more careful, Mama. Finders are keepers. Oh, Karen. Don't be so stubborn, my child. I know we are poor, and I can't buy you shiny new shoes. But our poverty must not make us do wrong things. Promise me that you will never wear these red shoes. Karen was sad, but she could not break her mother's heart. So she promised that she will never wear the red shoes. Time passed. But Karen could not stop thinking about the red shoes. Mother does not understand. If these beautiful shoes were thrown on the road, then maybe nobody needed them. A week later, Karen's mother passed away due to her illness. Karen was very, very sad, but she did something very unusual. On her mother's funeral, Karen wore the red shoes. Everybody at the funeral stared at Karen's feet, but Karen did not care. She loved her shoes. Just then, an old lady was passing by the funeral in her carriage. She was a kind old lady. When she learned that a young girl was orphaned, she decided to adopt Karen. Oh, my poor child! Come with me. I will give you a house to live and good food to eat. You must study hard and make a name for yourself. Oh, what are those on your feet? Why did you wear them on your mother's funeral? Those are ugly. Take those off. No, I like them. They are mine. Oh, child, don't be so stubborn. I will give you a good pair of shoes to wear. The old lady forced Karen to take off the red shoes. Karen was sad to have her red shoes go away. The old lady had no children of her own. She treated Karen like her own daughter. She gave her a room and new dresses to wear. Karen also got a new pair of shoes, but these were blue. Karen missed her red shoes. She always thought of them. Why doesn't anybody let me wear my beautiful red shoes? I will wear them someday, and then nobody could stop me. Years passed, and Karen grew up. She was now a beautiful young girl. But as she grew, so did her stubborn nature. Karen was a difficult child. I will not eat this. I want rice. But I have already prepared this delicious lunch. Won't you at least taste it? No. I would like to rather starve. The old lady loved Karen and did not want her to starve. She always gave in to her unreasonable demands. Time passed by. All Karen's old clothes and her blue shoes were now tight and short. The old lady realized she has to buy Karen new clothes and shoes. As they entered a shop to buy shoes, Karen saw a pair of red shiny shoes. They are exactly like the ones I had when I was small. I want them. No, oh, the red shoes again. Karen, buy the ones that you can always wear. What if we have to attend a funeral? You can't wear red shoes to a funeral. It is disrespectful. 
I have little money. I can't buy you two pairs of shoes, else we will have to walk back home. My feet hurt now. I can't walk. But Karen was so happy to see her red shoes, she didn't listen to a word. I don't care. I love them and I want them. If you don't buy me these, then I will walk barefoot for the rest of my life. Ah, don't be so stubborn, my child. This will cost you someday. But Karen did not listen. The old lady had to buy the red shoes. She also bought a pair of black shoes for Karen. The old lady had no money now, and they had to walk back home. All throughout the way, the old lady crouched with pain. But Karen danced. She swirled with the wind, laughing and singing, paying no attention to the old lady's aching feet. The next day, the old lady had to attend a funeral. Karen, we have to go attend a funeral in the town. Come with me, but don't wear those red shoes. It is disrespectful. Karen went to her room and looked at the black shoes. She then looked at the red shoes and wore them. She hid her feet behind her skirt as she didn't want the old lady to see the red shoes. All through the funeral, people kept looking at Karen's feet. There was gossip about the girl who doesn't respect the dead. Someone told the old lady of what has happened. The old lady was now furious. She grabbed Karen's hand and stepped out of the funeral. Oh, you stubborn girl. What have you done? I have asked you to not wear these here. Why don't you ever listen? But these are my shoes. I will wear wherever I want to. An old soldier passing by was watching the whole thing. As the old lady and Karen began to walk towards the carriage, he came to Karen, kneeled down, and whispered to her shoes, Be stubborn, just like your owner, and sit fast as you dance. The old soldier then patted Karen's feet. Oh, sir, please get up. What are you doing? Oh, I was only admiring your beautiful red dancing shoes. You must be a brilliant dancer. Karen was pleased. She wanted to show the soldier that she indeed was a brilliant dancer. She started to dance a few steps before boarding the carriage with the old lady. But... Oh! Oh! Why can't I stop dancing? Why don't my feet stop? What is happening to me? Oh, Karen, what are you doing? Come back here! But Karen was gone far ahead of the carriage. The red shoes didn't listen to her anymore. They were stubborn. They took Karen to the forest and to the mountains. They danced and danced. Karen's feet now hurt. Her back was sore from the dancing. She couldn't sleep or eat. She missed her house and her bed. But moreover, she missed the old lady. But the shoes didn't stop. Off she swayed night and day. Oh, somebody help me. I am tired. But nobody could come for her help. Karen was now scared. The shoes took her to the thorny bushes and Karen's feet were now badly hurt. Finally, Karen managed to take the red shoes off. The shoes were off her feet, but they were still dancing. Karen's feet were now broken. She could not stand without the support of a stick. Oh, oh my legs hurt. I want to go home. Karen somehow managed to reach home, and the dancing red shoes followed her. The old lady was happy to see Karen. She gave her food and made her rest. The next day, Karen wanted to go out to the market. But as she opened the door, she found the red shoes right at the doorstep. They were dancing and stopping Karen from leaving the house. The old lady and Karen both were surprised to see those dancing shoes. Karen soon realized that this all was her fault. I shouldn't have been so stubborn my whole life. 
I have been as stubborn as the red shoes. I can't leave my house. I can't go to school or market. I can't go anywhere. I feel so sorry. What do I do now? Oh, dear. Why don't you pray for the magic shoes to be gone? If you are truly sorry for your behavior, your prayer will be answered. Karen began to pray and pray, night and day. When she opened her eyes, she was surprised to see the old soldier from the village standing in front of her. Child, I'm glad that you have learned your lesson. As you have now let your stubbornness go, so must the shoes. Uttering these words, the soldier vanished, and so did the red shoes. Karen and the old lady were now happy and peaceful. Karen decided to study hard and never let the red shoes enter her life again. Don't you be stubborn, children. It will cost you someday. <laughs>